Scoot Henderson is now four games into his NBA career, and in this day and age, there's going to be a lot of buzz on social media, especially Twitter, when anyone has a slow start to a season or a hot start to season, just the reactionary era that we're in right now. So there's obviously a lot of comparisons with what Brandon Miller is doing compared to what Scoot Henderson was doing, because the debate between two and three in the draft was definitely one that's going to have them compared for a long time. So, so far in Scoot Henderson's career, there's been a couple common themes of every game, and that's been inefficient shooting, turning the ball over, and getting into foul trouble, kind of being lost on the defensive side a little bit. And tonight, for example, he had 11 points, 4 of 12 shooting, 0 for 6 from 3, 4 turnovers, and he fouled out. And overall in his career, he's 1 for 18 from 3, so he's kind of been a one-dimensional player. And he's been a little inefficient when he's getting into the lane, turning the ball over a little bit, and then on defense, he could be getting a little reachy or block happy, and then committing a bunch of fouls. So it's early in his career, and obviously it hasn't been the four games that Scoot Henderson, I'm sure, was hoping for. But I think with a player of his caliber that's so athletic and so dynamic, it's just going to take time to pick up the little parts of the game, the basketball IQ things. Once he learns the game more, then that athleticism is going to be undeniable. For example, there was some good stuff on Twitter comparing some other guards' first games in the league. So Scoot Henderson, for through his first three games, had 22 points, 13 turnovers, and then Darius Garland, his first three NBA games, 29 points, nine turnovers, so that's comparable. LaMelo Ball's first three games, 19 points, eight turnovers. Then Cade Cunningham's first three NBA games, 26 points, seven turnovers. So it's just talking about these guards that now are viewed as very good scorers and very good facilitators. The start of their NBA career wasn't exactly the best two, and all of their field goal percentages were very inefficient as well. For example, Cade Cunningham, his first three games of his career, he was shooting 18 percent from the field. Scoot Henderson, he was shooting 33 percent. So basically, it's not to compare him directly to any of those players, but just talking about the caliber of players of Scoot Henderson, those dynamic guards that get drafted high. Sometimes it takes some time, but I think there's no reason to worry about Scoot Henderson. For the next part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bulls and some potential shakeup that we can see with them because the Chicago Bulls, given their talent, their core of DeRozan, Levine, and Vucevic, and some young guys that maybe they'll have to make a decision on pain soon, such as a Patrick Williams type player, they're going to have some decisions to make if they don't, if they aren't able to put up a consistent winning stretch. And one of those players that you could look at come trade deadline time is DeMar DeRozan. He has a contract that doesn't have too much longer left on it. He can get out of it. And in negotiations for a contract extension, according to Shams of The Athletic, the Bulls remain far apart with DeMar DeRozan and his camp on a contract extension, which can mean DeMar DeRozan could be headed towards testing free agency, which also can mean if the Bulls feel like they're not going to get a deal done and things are going south for them, things are not staying in a playoff hunt for them, which would be going south and would be in the realm of possibilities that you could look to trading the DeMar DeRozan. Obviously, there's been Zach Levine trade rumors as well because he's in a similar contract situation where the, he could trade him to a team and then he can extend there. So we'll see if DeMar DeRozan could be on the move. But if you're talking about stars most likely to get traded this year, DeMar DeRozan would probably be right up there if the Bulls aren't having the success they want.